Now I am going to tell you a modification of the Applige Maneuver which has been developed by me. The basic difference from the main classical Applige Maneuver is that the patient is rotated to one side only. Instead of six positions, there are four positions only. And instead of three positional nystagmus, or vertigo in three positions, the patient gets vertigo in two positions only. The position number two and three of classical appellage have been omitted and with the help of the model I will explain how it works. Position number one. So this corresponds to the classical position number one of the appellage maneuver where these iron balls representing the otoconia are present in the ampulla of the right posterior semicircular duct. Now the patient will be transferred to position number 2 which corresponds to position number 4 of the classical appellage maneuver. He will be asked to lie down, the head being supported by the examiner. The head comes beyond the table. The head is rotated by 45 degree to the opposite side that means the left side. Now you can see the movement of the iron balls, the otoconia from the ampulla into the duct. So this time the patient will be experiencing giddiness. Once this movement stops, that means the patient stops getting giddiness, the patient will be shifted to position number 3. So one can find that the movement has slowed down but it is still occurring. It is still occurring. Now it has stopped. That means the patient will say that he is not getting any giddiness and now he will be shifted to position number 3. In this, the patient is rotated to the same side by 135 degree so that the patient's nose faces towards the earth. And one can find again the movement of the otoconia in the duct towards the crust commune or the utricle which is situated anteriorly. And so the during this, this period, the patient's head must be supported by the examiner so that the patient doesn't fall from the bed due to giddiness. One can observe the movement. And once the movement stops, he will be transferred to position number 4 that is similar to position number 1. Now we can find that all the otoconia they have reached into the utricle. There is no movement. So the patient will not be getting any feeling of giddiness. Now here we shifted to position number 4. So this position is the end, corresponds to position number 1. So again we find that with this, with this modification, all the otoconia have been brought from the ampulla of the right posterior semicircular duct into the utricle.